You know, coming back to YouTube, I didn't think I'd have to make another Peppa Pig file story, but funny how the world works and here we are today. And who do you think I'm talking about today? Well, he's the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Disrespect. And yeah, that shocked me too. But before we go ahead and label him a Peppa Pig file, let's actually look at the facts practically. Now, where the story starts is where Cody Connor goes ahead and makes this kind of tweet. And just to summarize it, he basically says that Dr. Disrespect did a Peppa Pig file move and tried to hit up a minor using Twitch whispers. I just have to say, who uses Twitch whispers? I've never seen that entire thing ever useful, but here we are today, I guess. Now, Cody Connors, if you don't know, is a very high ranking employee in Twitch. I don't know if he's still currently at Twitch, but from what I remember, he was a very high ranking individual. Now this is problematic because now we're going back to 2020, how Dr. Disrespect got banned and now it's starting to make a lot more sense and it's starting to fill in a narrative that a lot of people did not know and it concerns us. Now with Connor going ahead and saying this, this is a very, very serious problem here because you're going ahead and basically slandering Dr. Disrespect if this is not true. And if this is true, I'm pretty sure we would want to know. And we want to know the meat and potatoes of this entire lawsuit thing that happened. Here, let me just go ahead and show you a clip from Dr. Disrespect's last stream on Twitch. And it adds a little bit more context as to what the hell was going on at that time. And not only that, it makes me want to question a lot of things that happens afterwards, especially on Twitch's part. Oh you see me? my, oh my, oh my. Wait, what? Oh, oh. oh that was easy. I <laughs> guess they left. Wow, good job. Dang. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, let's see what map we get next. I didn't really get to see you up there. Were you on the top of the statue? I was on top of the night. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, we'll, we'll get through this, Champions Club. Uh, yeah, I know it's a tough... T uh, because I don't know this one well. Life's I weird right now. I... Oh, oh my gosh. Well... Oh, We'll get through this, okay? And, uh... Hey, Christopher. Dun, dun, dun. You better not taunt me. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fuck. You get to try ah. it. I have to say, the Roblox content does not help in this entire matter. As you can see, Dr. Disrespect was very disturbed, and I guess this is a point where he went ahead and understood that, hey, this is going to come after him one way or another. Now, to put it very clearly, Dr. Disrespect did respond to this entire situation, and it's a very weird response. Jake, seriously, I get it, it's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the entire contract. Now this does not make sense in any angle. And let me just play a couple of scenarios for you guys to understand this. If Dr. Disrespect did the whole Peppa Pig file thing, then of course he should get disrespected. But why was Twitch going ahead and paying out a contract to a Peppa Pig file? That makes no sense. In fact, a lot of companies have morality clauses, especially if you look at YouTube and their terms of service and so on and so forth, they have morality clauses. So that makes no sense then on the other hand if connor is just going ahead and claiming this and i don't think connor would just go ahead and randomly say this shit what the fuck is he on and if connor is just blatantly lying about dr disrespect the man she could just get sued but i think i have a third angle on this and this still supports the whole you know account being underage and just follow me on this because i'll go ahead and show you a clip of someone else claiming this that it was a underage person that was going ahead and being talked to by Dr. Disrespect. But I think there's more to the story here. My entire thought process on this is solely the fact that Dr. Disrespect may have went ahead and contacted an account that at first its creation was underage, but the person who was behind using that account may not have been underage. And the reason I say this is solely for the fact that ages on accounts are never really truly the age of the person. I always believe this philosophy solely for the fact that it takes a kid to go ahead and lie about them being older. A person who is of age could go ahead and say they're younger, or it could have just been, I don't know, a mom using their kid's account. It could have been one or the other, right? And we don't have the logs to go ahead and prove or disprove this. So if this is the case, case that means what twitch did was they did ban dr disrespect over something that they thought was peppa pig file content but quietly because when they were going ahead and reviewing the messages they couldn't really ascertain if it was really you know peppa pig file stuff going on and on top of that dr disrespect again a consenting adult could go ahead and get away with this 
saying meeting up with a mother or a of age woman and you know doing some stuff with her he's done in the past and i don't like bringing up his past because man's been forgiven for it but but this is more likely in my head right now and frankly speaking that goes ahead and justifies the entire reason he gets paid out he doesn't want to come back to twitch because they just accused him of peppa pig file stuff and he literally had the proof for it and that's why they're keeping their mouth shut because they don't want to drag the third person into this now again truly a hypothesis but it makes a lot more sense than what's going on right now i just realized while editing this that i sound like a deranged conspiracy theorist that just wants dr disrespect to be innocent of this but <laughs> come on give me some credit here i might be doing my freaky deaky magic shit on this but like don't kill me please now, with that being said, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it, and practically, I'm out. See ya.